Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Today, I'm going to present our work, TBNet, a three-stream boundary-aware network for fine-grain pavement disease segmentation. Pavement disease segmentation is a fundamental problem in maintaining the condition of transport infrastructure such as airports, bridges, and roads. However, existing methods mainly address the tasks of crack detection and segmentation that are only tailored for long thin cracks. So, for other types of diseases with a wider variety of sizes and patterns, how to segment them? In this work, we focus on eight types of pavement diseases. Let's first take a look at some examples. Crack has long thin shapes with different orientation angles. Corner fracture is the small break in the corner of a block. Patch is the rectangle-like salmon patch. And repair is the strip-shaped asphalt repair. Markings that have ring line shapes and commonly seen water oil stains are all classified as track. Seen broken is the small damage area along the edge of a block. Light is the ground lighting equipment that is especially deployed at airports. Slab is the normal gap between two salmon or asphalt blocks. For the above diseases, our goal is to automatically segment them in a single model. There are three challenges in this task. First, images of pavement surfaces tend to contain noises due to low contrast, blurry illumination, and inconsistent textures. Second, Similarities among some certain classes make it difficult to discriminate. Besides, diseases within the same class may possess quite different appearances. In addition, these classes have a large variety of shapes and sizes, which poses more challenges towards detailed segmentation. In order to tackle the above challenges, we propose a three-stream boundary-aware network the three streams are designed to explicitly exploit the low-level spatial, the high-level contextual, and the detailed boundary information in order to take full advantages of different feature representations. Specifically, the spatial stream allows the model to preserve the spatial size of the original image as well as retaining affluent spatial information. The context stream employs two self-attention modules to capture the wide range of contextual relationships over local features. In the boundary stream, a gated convolution module is applied, which highlights the relevant information and filters out the rest to better generate the boundary representations. In the feature fusion module, different types of features are fused to produce the refined segmentation outputs. The proposed method is trained using a dual task clause on the predicted segmentation and boundary maps. We further utilize a weighting mechanism for the highly imbalanced data. Next, let's move on to the experiments. To evaluate the proposed method, we conducted the experiments on an airport pavement disease dataset. The dataset contains around 4,000 images captured with a grayscale camera. Here shows the number of the annotated areas for each class. We compare the performance of our TBNet against four segmentation methods that attain the state-of-the-art results in other semantic segmentation tasks and can be potentially used for this task. It can be observed that TBNet outperforms the other methods in terms of both MPA and MIOU. Here is the visual comparison of the results obtained by our method and one of the competing models, BISNET. We observe that our model generally achieves better pixel-wise disease segmentation. We further perform ablation studies to demonstrate the effects of the context wear attention, the boundary information, and the weighting mechanism in the loss function. To conclude our work, we propose TBNet that takes full advantages of different information. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first work attempting to generate fine green disease as well as non-disease segmentation outputs for detailed payment inspection. Experimental results on a newly collected dataset demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed approach. Our code is released online.
Thanks for watching.